Okay, everyone, I have another weird problem and solution for you. This is a Voco Pro Gigman karaoke machine. Made in uh, 2008. So anyway, this gig man, which is now playing a CD, I got the amp board out of it and turned upside down, um, was going in and out of protection. Just clicking the relay on the board, which is uh, located all right in this area somewhere. Let's see if we flip the board over, you can see it. Yeah, that little relay right there was clicking in and out of protection. Let me turn this music down a little bit. And uh, drive me crazy. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, there was a capacitor next to the relay, and the voltage was changing on that. And I thought, well, maybe that's why it's going in and out of protection. And uh, couldn't figure it out. The CD would continue to play. The power would stay on. Just that the relay would click and the audio would then mute because uh, the relay clicked off. So let me show you the front of this thing. So that's the machine there. And it's out of the case. That's the case right down there that it came out of. So now for the solution. So I'll turn the music back up. And uh, so I thought it was an intermittent uh, connection on the board. I thought it was maybe a component being intermittent, maybe a capacitor going bad. None of those. Stupid problem. Okay, so this thing needs to mute the audio when the headphones are plugged in. And uh, most things, what they do is they send the audio output from the, the amp chip all the way on down to the headphone jack and there are some contacts in the headphone jack that open and switch the audio over to the over to the headphones mechanically well what this thing does is the headphone jack actually tells the protection circuit to turn on when you plug the headphones in and the way it does that is this thing has three I don't know if you can see that Three sets of contacts. One, two, three. And uh, let's see if I can get the camera to stay focused. Okay, so the first set of contacts is ground or your neutral. Okay. The second set of contacts is one of the audio channels. The uh, third set of contacts is the other audio channel. And the way this thing senses whether or not there are headphones plugged in is when you push your headphones in. I'll see if I can get a jack and do that. As soon as you push headphones in the front, now I'm pushing it in the front. Let's see if you can see the contacts. The contacts raise up as you plug the jack in. See them go up and I take the jack, take it out. When that happens, as soon as you put that jack in, listen, the relay clicks off. Just when you hit that first set of contacts and open that first set of contacts, the relay clicks off. Once you take the jack back out and you wait a little bit, then they should click back on. But in this case, they're not. Because this first set of contacts is not making good solid contact. And if I go and let's see, I'll turn the music up because it did click back on finally. But if you fiddle with those contacts, see the relay still clicked off. Fiddle with the contacts, the relay clicks back on. So what's going on is those contacts either have some corrosion on them in between the two contacts, which you could clean off with a little piece of cardboard you can shove in and out of there with some WD-40 or some contact cleaner just to polish them up. But that's how this thing knows to turn the protection relay on. Just by opening the ground. 
and all I'm doing is just touching them a little bit and, the, and it kicks out because this set of contacts isn't making a very good, good connection. So that's the deal. It's nothing on the amplifier board. It's on the stupid headphone jack. So check your check your, check your first set of contacts, the uh, ground contacts there. Make sure they're clean. Make sure they're making good connection. Uh, make sure that the both sides of the jack are soldered. The solder connections are soldered well to the board because if you've been using headphones a lot and the uh, connections are starting to break loose on the board it could cause the same issue but that is basically what it is is as soon as that as soon as that neutral opens up or that ground for your headphones opens up it kicks the uh, protection relay in and out and it will drive you crazy and you will spend hours looking for a problem with the amplifier that's not in the amplifier so uh, hopefully that will help someone fix their Voco Pro gig man that is having issues with the sound kicking in and out. Thanks for watching and hopefully it'll help someone out there.